I'm going to be tying this pattern with uh, an olive ADOT Vivas thread. I've already come in and I've attached the eyes. If you want to see how I do that, if you're on my website, you can look in the video library. And if you're on Instagram, you can take a look on my IGTV channel or my Instagram feed. I've taken this rabbit strip, it's barred olive, and I've very simply punched it through the hook shank. I've made sure that I've left enough behind it that's about the same length as the hook shank for the tail. It's easiest if I come in, get a little bit of moisture on my finger there, and just kind of part that thread where I want to tie it in. I've come in with a thread on my bobbin here. I'm just going to attach it right behind the eyes and snip the excess. Stick the point of my bobbin in there and I'm just going to work this back toward the hook bend. Once I get to where that hook starts to bend, I can pull that rabbit strip around. I'm really just looking to get this secured with about five or six firm wraps. Get one wrap on there, kind of position the, the skin where you want it to be. Cinch it down and then just come around it with another four or five good solid wraps. If you catch a little bit of that hair, that's okay. So once I get those wraps, I'm gonna pull that material back. Just reach in there with your fingers, brush it back, stick the nose in, take a few good wraps, and you can just kind of pull that rabbit fur off to the side. At that point, we're gonna bring in this, and this is our distributions. It's their uh, lively streamer brush material. So we're gonna come in and it's got a little wire core that runs through the middle of it. So I'm going to stick the tip of that wire core in there. I'm going to catch this with my thread. And then I'm just going to wrap back toward the rabbit fur. So that's nice and locked down. I'm going to return my thread right up here to the eyes. And then just to keep it out of the way, I'm going to drape it over. As I take wraps with these, I just want to brush this material back a little bit. Those legs will stick out and they'll kind of get in the way. And that's all right. They don't have to be perfect. Once I get right back to the eyes, I'm going to pick this thread up. I'm going to take a solid wrap or two behind the brush. Come around underneath those eyes. Lock it down with four or five good wraps. And then come in. And I'm going to catch this at the back end of my scissors. And snip that off. So these legs will kind of stick up. Just kind of brush them back on either side. And then you're going to grab that rabbit strip. We're going to pull that down over the top. Once again, it helps if you kind of moisten your fingers just to brush that skin back. I like to bring that thread back right in front of the eyes. Catch that thread right over the skin. Make sure it's where you want it. You can give it a nice tug if you need to. Take another two wraps maybe over the top of it. Pull that back and snug it down with a few thread wraps. Stick your scissors in there. Snip that off. Then you can just come in with the nose of your bobber and this skin will squish down. I build that up and then you can just come in and whip finish the fly.